In this video, we're going to focus on how we can customize every segment tooltip. As you can see here, this tooltip has a category of drink, and if you go here, you see different text, and here water, and desserts, and we can do that for every one of them. And let's focus on this and explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to display different text for each pie or donut segment in the tooltip in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go and get our default code. So our default code you can find on chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here. Scroll down here and just copy this entire code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains it all. So then I'm going to just paste this all in here. And once I did that, I will cut out the title here, put the title in there. There you are. Save this, refresh. Now we have a nice bar chart. And what I want to do now is to convert this bar chart in a proper pie chart. So I'm going to uh, reduce the size of the pie chart to make it width for 100. And once I did that, scroll down here and just say pie. Save that and then of course remove the scales. A pie chart doesn't have any scales. So save this, refresh, and there we are. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use data structure. So we're going to assign some values to it and with some unique text and it will eventually be representative or representing in our tooltip here. So to do this, we go in the data here. I'm just going to delete everything, put an enter in there. And then what I'm going to do now is to put in the data that we want. So for, for example, in this case, the numbers would be the sales number. And then what we have as well is, for example, a category. So let's say here category, that would be the next one. And that will be the text category um, drinks. You can just put in here. This is the drinks that has been sold. And I'm going to copy this and just put it in here seven more times. All right. So then we have your nine. I'll just go and decrement them by one. All right. And then every category here, we can say here, this will be the meat. Uh, this is the, the water. This is the uh, desserts. Uh, where we have more, I guess, fruits, pie, and finally we have here the juice. I'm not. I'm just making it up as I go. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here what's happening. It doesn't work really. The reason why is because now this here is what we call data structure, but the data structure doesn't recognize which data data to get, or at least the chart doesn't recognize the data structure, and it doesn't know which data point it needs to get. Basically, we need to indicate now we want to grab the sales here. So let's scroll down here. And then here we're going to say in the item here in the options, we're going to say here the following. We're typing a parsing and parsing comes from the word to parse and parse basically means make something readable for. So in this case, what are we going to do is we make for the pie chart the scale readable for these make the scale readable for the pie chart. So we parse what exactly the key. And this key refers to this specific object here of the sales. If you would have another one, for example, the cost, then you could select one or the other. So, but in this case, we're just going to get one item, which is the sales. We say here the sales. And this, of course, must be a string value to reference to that specific object. If I save this now, refresh, you can see here now, it works fine. And this is very important. Data structures for pie chart works different compared to data structure for a, a bar or a line or any other type. And the reason why is because a pie chart and a donut chart doesn't have a scale. So that will mean that the X and Y axis are not there. So it doesn't understand where to get the data. This is why it works differently compared to any other chart. All right, so now we have this. And what I want to do now is start to customize the tooltip to show specifically this value in here. So to do that, below the parsing, I'm going to say here plugins. And in the plugins, I'm going to say here tooltip. I'm going to focus on the tooltip. And then in the tooltip, I'm going to create a callback. And this callback is with an S, so it's callbacks. And then in here, we're going to modify specifically the label itself. So in the tooltip, we have the, the color box and we have the label. And I want to focus on the label. We can do here, for example, Monday 10 or whatever the value would be. And then we can extract still or add up the category in here. So that's what I'm going to do. So 
in this callback, we're going to say we're going to pinpoint the label, and then I'm going to say here com text. So then, once we did this, I can do your console log just to show you what is in the context. If I save this and refresh, open up my developer tab, you will see that the moment I hover over a slice of a pie chart, it will show something. However, you see the tooltip is missing. And the reason why is because we're not returning anything yet. So all we do is we just say show it in the console log, but don't return anything on our HTML file. And now what I want to do is I want to select or pinpoint exactly what I want to return. So you can see here, we have a lot of information here. And one of the most important one will be eventually the parse, which is number nine. You can click on this. You can see here, we have even here the raw, which is also perfect. You can see here the meat. That's basically what you need to know. And you have the sales here. And what we could do as well, if we go here in the data sets, we also get the weekly sales. So uh, basically, we could get this, or we can get here even the label. I guess what we want to do is get the label, show the sale number, and show also the category. So I'm going to grab this label, and I'm going to show you now. If I say here dot label, save that refresh, move over it, you can see here now it shows exactly the items. And if I expand, extend it a bit, you can see it will look more better. So once I have this here, you can see as I hover, it will show the specific item. All right, so we have this. So what we could do now, we just say here, return. And we're going to say return this. Save that, refresh. All right, so now we have only one item. What I want to do is still I want to get more. So let's go back here and let's look what more we need to extract. So we'll go over again, you can see here we get all the values. And what I want to do now is well, we have the label here, and I guess we can get the raw value. We can say raw dot sales. So let's do that. We do raw dot sales, but of course the main here is the context. It's always a starting point. Hover. You can see here now we hover over the values, and the values are being shown. So what I can do here now is basically call a uh, template literal. So that's basically backtick. Any backtick here, and the backticks are are on your keyboard below the escape button and then what I want to do, we only do dollar sign and here curly braces and then here a closing curly braces the reason why this is a variable so this will show that uh, in the concatenation this is not a string but a variable so if you would do now a colon it will be considered just a string so that is very easy so we could say here raw and then we can get the sales this here again is a variable so you can say here dollar sign there you are and if you want to put a currency in here, and for example, another dollar sign, you can just put a second dollar sign attached to it. You can see it becomes yellow, recognizing that this is a string. So if I put a semicolon here, save, refresh. All right, so now we've got this. Now the final item is to get, of course, the customized text. How do we get that? Well, you saw here is the raw. And if you really paid careful attention, they have another one here. It's the category. So if I save that, refresh, you just do that. You can see it drinks, meats, and then... Uh, that we have you can see here it shows everything all right so what i want to do here i'll just cut out this and then we say of the category and the category will be dollar sign put in the variable save refresh there we are and now we have here uh, tuesday nine dollars of the category of meat here drinks then we have water we have uh, desserts uh fruits and then we have your pie and of course juice. And of course, if you would change this, let's say apple juice, save that, refresh, let's look here, and then we are, there we are, apple juice. And that's basically the way you could play around with this. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more about uh, data structures for pie chart and donut chart, in that case, I highly recommend you to watch this video of how to use data structures with donut pie chart and chart js because there's a lot more and this is a very powerful tool that you can use so many other things than just what we did